Hi everybody, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. Hey, it's been a couple days now since I built this system. This is the automatic self-watering pop bottle garden, okay? If you haven't seen the video on this, look below in the description, click on the show more button, and I'll have a link to it, you can see it. But I'm gonna plan it, because it was getting, I did it on Memorial Day, it was getting late in the day, so I got it all built. What I'm gonna do is plan it, and here's what I'm looking around about a whole bunch of stuff to decide what to put in here. I'm gonna really stretch it on this, okay? I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna put a strawberry plant in it. I'm gonna put some, I think it's Black Seed Simpson in it, lettuce. I'm gonna put a jalapeno plant in it. I'm gonna put a red pepper plant in it. And I'm gonna put a kohlrabi. And I'm gonna put some Swiss chard. We'll see how it does, okay? What I'm gonna do, and something you might wanna remember is anything, uh, whether it's a pepper, uh, cantaloupes or tomatoes, anything like that, you can get blossom end rot if you don't put a little calcium in. So I'm gonna use a potting mix, I'm gonna use a regular, uh, it's called Majestic Earth, kind of like a miracle Grow, but about half the price. It had, it had good, good potting mix. I'm gonna use that, but I'm also gonna amend it with, I'll put a little ham, or just a little bit, about a tablespoon of Epsom salts in each one when I plant. And I'll put uh, a very, a couple, two, couple tablespoons, I suppose, of, uh, of garden lime for the calcium so you don't get the, uh, so you don't have a calcium or magnesium deficiency. But I'm, that's what I'm going to plant, and I'm going to put that in there, plant it in there. I'll make sure I put that on a pepper one and this one for sure, okay? So I'm going to get some of that stuff together, and I'm going to plant this little baby, and then I'm going to be back, okay? Okay, I wanted to be sure to show you this step. What I do want to do is I mixed up a little potting mix and got it wet, okay? Not sopping, sopping, but pretty wet. Because we want to make sure we got good contact with that little uh, baby net cup we're making. So I'm going to drop a little down in there, okay? I'm going to take my finger and kind of really push it down good and get it started. That way I know we got good contact and we're going to have good wicking action all the way up. See? I'm getting it really pushed in there. Now I can go ahead and fill it on up. And when I get ready to plant it, then I can go ahead and water the whole thing from the top until it starts dripping out the bottom. That way I know I got good capillary action going all the way through. I'll be back now when I get it planted. Here's another little trick, guys, too, when I'm filling these up. You know, I put the wet potting mix in the bottom to fill the, the little nut cup type, uh, you know, neck on this bottle. And then you can go ahead and fill it up with uh, your potting mix, you know, dry, until you're about three quarters full, and then add in some Epsom salts in your uh, garden lime, okay? And then what I do is I fill it up a little bit more and leave about an inch at the top and then water. That way you got something to hold the water and it'll start working its way down until you see it coming out the bottom. Then I'll just put a little on top and water and this will be done. This is some kohlrabi I'm doing. When I get all just about done. I'll be back. Well, folks, we got her all planted. Here is the pop bottle self-watering grow system, okay? And we got Swiss chard in this first one. We have a red pepper plant in the back. A kohlrabi back there. This is a jalapeno, black seed Simpson lettuce, and a strawberry, ever-bearing strawberry plant. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. For this, that needs a, the jalapeno and the red pepper, I will put a dowel rod probably in here. And then I'll put like one of those little plant clips or something to stabilize it, and I think that'll work out just fine. But I kind of spaced them out knowing to give it room, uh, the branching ones, I could even put the lettuce here and move that over there so the larger ones are, that's the flexibility of it. But anyway, I wanted to show you that. Uh, build one of these. Like I said, if you haven't seen the first video, click below in the show more button, you'll see how to build this thing. Uh, you, it's really simple to build. You take two liter pop bottles, a 50 cent Walmart chopping bag for your fabric to make this nut cup, and uh, you can do it pretty simple. Uh, some gals have uh, already done it already, and uh, it looks great. So want you to build one of these and give one away. I'm gonna build a bill. This would be a fantastic herb garden. This would be a fantastic little strawberry patch. You can do, I'm gonna build another one for a friend of mine who helped my wife with her lawnmower yesterday and uh, I said he wouldn't take any money. So I tell you what, your wife likes strawberries, yeah? I'll make you one of these with all strawberries. Oh God, she go wild. I said, well, 
I'm doing that, so I'm going to do him one with a strawberry patch for her, and she'll have that. But go ahead and make these. You can make a bunch of them. Matter of fact, you could hook them together and take a float. This one has a float, of course, and you'll see that one of the options you can do. There's three ways to water this, okay? But uh, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota, saying, grow, baby, grow.